Hello and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And today we're going to watch Snatched. I was trying to like snatch. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, she snatched. Um, I don't think that this movie has anything to do with being snatched physically. Um, but it's oh, a we'll Guy see. Ritchie movie, which is always a fun time. Brad Pitt's in it and another big name action star. So I'm excited to see it. It's been on my radar, but I haven't watched it. Is that the same for you? Yes. I've been hearing about this film for years, but never gotten around to it. Yeah, because Guy Ritchie is so fun. And I feel like I've seen a lot of his movies, but there's definitely ones I've missed. So this is one and we're going to watch it with y'all today we're really excited to do so since you're on youtube you will be seeing a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a certain amount of picture in picture but if you want to watch this entire movie with us no cuts no interruptions you can do that one of two ways you can either become a patron at patreon.com slash or a member on this youtube channel right here all you'll need is your own version of the film i'll give you a three two one countdown you'll throw it up on a side by side screen next to us and then it's basically like we're watching it together which is really fun and if you're already a member a patron thank you we appreciate Appreciate you always. Before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. All right, let's get snatched, or whatever this means. Morty. Morty. Ah. Oh, shy. Where is the stone? Oh, look. There is the storm. Ow. Michael, where is the storm? Damn. Yikes. Damn, that I think diamond this, I think is this, crazy. This came out a year before Ocean's Eleven, but it's almost got a little bit of that vibe. When does your plane leave? 20 minutes. Oh. Give me your gun. When you get to London, if you want the gun, call this number. They're so similar. Wait, is Brad Pitt in Oceans? Yeah, and George Clooney, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you later, Jodak. Yeah. Yeah. It's an unlicensed boxing match, Tom. Not a tickling competition. How am I supposed to run this thing from that? We're going to need a proper office. I want a new one, Tommy. You're going to buy it for me. <laughs> Sooner or later, in the unlicensed boxing world, you're going to have to deal with that reason. Brick, Tom. If that's not worth a bet, I don't know what is. It doesn't look but I've got no time for grasses. Ah. Feed them to the pigs, Harold. Yikes. Not the type of guy you want to cross. Well, you is a good fighter, so I'm going to use him. But I'll be doing you a favor, boy. You don't like me, do you, boy? I don't know what you mean. I do know. I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> I don't blame you. Now, play your cards right, and I'll sort you out. You can sort me out by showing me out. Yeah. So every now and then, you've got to do something that might not agree with your principles. Yeah. Boris. Frankie fucking four fingers has a diamond the size of a fist. I sent him to you to buy a gun. I love Moscow. He's gonna stay in London only for a couple of days before he goes to New York. So move quick, okay? One more thing. It might help. He loves to gamble. Okay. I can work with that. 86 carats. Brilliant cut. Beautiful man. <laughs> now when do you get back? I gotta move the mailers and the two grainers here. And get a better price. A couple of days. Gosh, I'm obsessed with him. No, Paul, you're lying for me. That's Doug the Head. Everybody knows Doug the Head. If it's stones and it's stolen, Doug's the man to speak to. Pretends he's Jewish. Even tells his family they're Jewish. Oh my gosh. As he is a fing monkey. He thinks he's good for business. <laughs> Stop. Heavy. You'll be there today. Take care of him, will you? Heavy. You know I won't buy straps. He isn't selling straps. This is hilarious. Not him faking. I just had Cousin Heavy on the phone. You know, you got to go out and see him. Yeah, Dad, you told us. He's a big mucker in New York. Yeah, Dad, you told us. I want to see you two girls up in my office. You told us. You told us. <laughs> the weight is sign of reliability. 
I always go for reliability. Porsche is a good salesman. How much do you want for it? Nothing. Okay. So what do you want for it? I want you to do something for me. Mm. There is a fight in a couple of days. What kind of a fight? Unlicensed boxing. Uh -huh. Why don't you put it down yourself? And I already have uh, an outstanding debt with the house. Gambling is such a bad addiction. It really can be, for sure. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're buying a caravan. Off a pack of f***ing pikes. What's wrong with you? This will get messy. <laughs> you tell me. Come back to Canada. Mr. O'Neill. Fuck, man. Tell me, Mickey. It's not Irish. It's not English. How are you? Fair, the weather's been kind of for the horses, you know. It's just, well, it's just pikey. Fuck me. <laughs> just look at the size of it. How big are you? <laughs> Such a good way to be like, we know his accent's not for Rizal. Yeah. But I still like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right. Oh, you see what all the fuss is about. All right, bad fellas. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Sorry, Mickey. Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. Why the fuck do I want a caravan? It's going to fucking weird. Wow, really gonna sell them a lemon like that and 10 seconds later do that? <laughs> Want the money? Hey, fuck you. Yeah. Fight you for it. You and me. Ow! Uh oh, anyone who's this confident. Ah. I feel like he's about to let the rage out. No. You're screwed. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. This is sick. I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere, you tick lump. It's like, dude, I just uh, was in Fight Club. You're done. Uh-oh. Damn. Uh-oh. Is he dead? Oh, my God. Really? For one blow? That's what the mom was like. You know what happens when you fight. Damn. Where did, where did he punch him? What can I do for you, Boris? I have a job for you. I already have a job. 50 grand for half a day's work. That sounds like a good job. I have stars to sell. Slow down, Frankie, my son. When in Rome. I am not in the room, Doc. I am in a rush. Yeah. That's a good line. You can't say this music is Ocean's Eleven because, again, this came out before, but I guess you can say Ocean's Eleven is Snatch esque. Yeah. That does not look like a book. What have we stopped here for? What's the matter with that space over there? It's too tight. Too tight? <laughs> Yeah, y'all not getting away from anything with Tyrone. Ah. We replaced the fire. Oh, I hope he doesn't notice. I knew the f we're gonna replace him. The guy who knocked out John the Gun. Oh, mad fish, Willy. Ah. He's gonna say, yeah, get Brad Pitt. Right. <laughs> get Brad Pitt. Let's use the fucking pike. Yeah. What's you gonna pass? 10k. Ah, me bollocks. There's one out running for the boss. <laughs> Let me run by the boys. Never in front of Love it. <laughs> Love it. Hey! What do you do for a caravan? For a curve? What's wrong with this one? Uh, it's not for me. It's for me, man. You what? It's ma. It's ma. <laughs> This is such a good joke they keep running. That you can't understand what yeah. he's saying. <laughs> it's working. We've lost gorgeous George. Well, where'd you lose him? He ain't a set of fucking car keys, is he? And it's not as if he's inconspicuous now, is it? 
We're changing a fighter. But he's mustard. Mustard? I don't care if he's Mohammed, Imard, Bruce Lee. You can't <laughs> Make sure your man goes down in the fourth. You understand me now, don't you, Turkey? Oh, he's not. Brad Pitt ain't going down. Did he have a case with him? Yes, he had a case. And this schmuck is gambling? You're talking about Frankie. I've got a problem with gambling. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea why they call him Frankie Four Fingers Doug? No, no idea. Well, because he makes stupid bets with dangerous people. I love Dennis Farina so much. He's great. I don't like leaving my own country, Doug, and I especially don't like leaving it for anything less than warm, sandy beaches and cocktails with little straw hats. I feel you, brother. He's going down in the fourth. Don't you worry about that, Peter. Uh, no, he's not. Oh, is that him? If we're know. wrong, we're wrong, Anything but I just video. don't see it. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the binoculars out in time. Binoculars. Do you know who this book is belong to? Look, if you know what's good for you, right, you give me everything. <laughs> yeah, this is stupid. You got five fingers. <laughs> God! Couple coins. What do you mean? Come on, ah. Idiot. They are really amateur at this. <laughs> you think? Don't close the door. They didn't really do anything though. Oh yeah, he's been trapped in there the whole time. Get out of here! What are you doing? Tyrone coming in with the win. Let's again ready to walk our river! Ah, damn. Oh, he's not gonna like that. Oh, did he just knock him out? <laughs> Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Brad Pitt is such a fun actor. We want half of this, and that's because we're being generous. I mean, we could, by all rights, keep the old f***ing stone, Boris. Aren't they going to get caught by showing their faces on the security cams? Oh, you just got shot. Drop the gun, fed boy. You f***ing idiots. He could <gasps> not know my name. Oh, sh me the stone. they just... Frankie? Then open the case and give me the stone. The only man who knew the combination. You just shot. Stop. What? Wait, we didn't just kill him. He's the best character. I was not expecting that. Dad. What? We don't even see the face? Here's now your problem. Okay. Ugh, that's gross. Do you know these tits, Errol? I know a lot of tits, Governor. But I don't know any quite as f***ing stupid as these two. John? I can't help, Gov. They're gonna know him. Grab hold of his legs. What do you think I'm gonna grab him, boy? He's f***ing ears. This sucks for the other guy who's there and had nothing to do with. Hope this is not a bad moment. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. <sighs> Oh, oh my what? god, how are we gonna get out of that? Yeah, I don't think they are. <laughs> four days. You give us four days, and I will get you a stone the size of a fucking home. 48 hours. After that, it's your family. And the pigs finish what the dogs don't do. Damn. There is a man I'd like you to find. Well, that depends on all the elements in the equation. 
How many are there? 40,000. Pass us the blower, Susie. <laughs> a bookie's got blagged last night. Blagged? Speak English to me, Tony. I thought this country spawned the fucking language. Nah. <laughs> 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 We've got to go and see a man that looks like he might know something. I need a gun. You don't rosebud me, old son. You need me. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this movie. It's so good. <laughs> Give me a name. No, oh, no. Boris. Boris the Blade? Yeah. These guys are having a bad day. Why do they call him the Bullet Dodger? Because he dodges bullets? Because he dodges bullets, Effie. <laughs> like, come on. He won't fight unless we buy his mum a caravan. And you've nicked all our savings. In the quiet words of the Virgin Mary. <gasps> In the quiet words of the Virgin Mary. Holy moly. He's a useless shite, that boy. Punish him for me, Errol. I want that pikey to fight. Oh, I love this song. I think it's Angel sings it. You are my angel. I thought it would be a good idea to burn Mickey's mum's caravan. Oh, no. While she was asleep in it. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh no, this just got like so dark. I I guess you really don't cross this guy. Oh my god, this just got so fed up. Oh my god. I was not expecting Same. that. For how gross and dark this movie is. Yeah. Did you do it? No. I don't think they'd be there if they did it. His mum is still smoking next to us. I know I'm asking him to fight. I'll do the fight before he causes any more carnage. And if he'd said no, could have been a shite sight worse. Where did he say he'll do the fight for to, to kill? I, I, I don't I, know. Yeah, it's again, it's having such a hard time understanding. I would imagine so we can get close to the guy who did that to his Yeah. Mom. Russians. Should have known. Anti-semite-slippery Cossack sluts. <laughs> Yo. Dad, there's a strange man down here who wants to sell us an 84-carat stone. Where does he come from? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, is, is that the Russian? Yeah. Uh, Oi, do you want them to be able to talk or not? What the f*** do you mean, replicas? They look the shit, don't they? And nobody is going to argue. I love how these two have just gotten into this completely on accident yeah. you know, way well, it, above it the was, head. Yeah. They just did it. We're doing a $50,000 job. Oh, he's dead now? We're off. Was that Boris in yeah, the Yeah, I think he's dead. We're coming in. Not so fast, mate. We can't take him now. We're gonna have to follow him. You shouldn't drink that stuff anyway. Why? What's wrong with it? It's not in sync with evolution. Shut up. What did he say? It's not. It's not in sync with evolution. Oh, okay. Low key. It's so not. Do you want to kill him or not? I'll cut him. I got a blade. Yeah, that's the spirit. Do they fire? I feel like they're all about to intersect, it feels like. Yeah. All at the fight, probably, right? <laughs> what the f are you done, Solomon? Or you wanted to know whether or not they were. <laughs> you try it in the car, so you are so. Ah! What are you gonna do with that cookie's teeth? Who who they just hit? I don't know. I think it fell out of their car, maybe. Oh, Boris fell out of the trunk. I think. Ah. If system hasn't got used to any dairy products yet. Well, f me, Tommy. What have you been reading? Let me do you a favor. Oh, he's giving him much feel of. I love like the hidden, the like the little moments of dialogue of just conversation are so telling of the characters. Yeah. It's a knife for God's sake. What have you used to keep your fork company all these years? A sharp side, a blunt side. Would you want a lesson? Do it. Oh, oh, the di the milk, the, the chocolate milk. milk. Oh wow. It all intersected. That's why the body fell out of the the car. Oh my god. And that's why they crashed into, uh -oh, uh -oh. into Boris. Is that Boris? 
And then they're about to hit Boris with their car. They're gonna hit Boris right now. <sighs> okay, that makes more sense now. Oh my god. You <sighs> done. Wow. That's a trip. You can bring him with you if you like. Oh, then. Ah! I'm sorry for causing a scene, Tony. Whoa. You are not taking that dog with you, Vince. Well, I can't leave him in here, can I? Oh, my God. <laughs> is this where the fight is? I just feel like everything is coming to one. Should we go in? I don't want to go in there. It's a dangerous bastard. Taking too many disco biscuits in the heat of Russian disputations. Oh, they're at Boris's house. These nuts, as he has those nuts. I don't care if he's got f***ing hazel nuts. I want a gun that works. And I'm gonna tell him. Okay, big boy. For the Germans get it. You just tell him who's in charge. Oh my god, he's still okay after getting hit? Uh, Boris. <laughs> Wow, how is he okay? He got plunked by that car. Oh my. Get out of the way. Stop it, get. Stop it. Yeah, you don't keep someone like Boris alive. You don't. Give it a case. Fuck you. Oh my oh, no. god. Ah! Pass me case. Or I shoot you. You know what? You too. Oh my god. Pull your socks up! Damn! Put the gun away. What's Boris doing? Uh, Boris, I... what are you doing? <laughs> you! Uh, okay, there's okay. Boris. I think Unless Boris is he's... definitively gone yeah. this time. What's the case? Uh, you miss. Don't take the piss, Boris. I show you now. <laughs> How is Boris so alive? Don't take the piss, Boris. Jeez, it's flawless. Don't get attached to it. It's going to brick top. Leave the dog here. So, why don't we just? Do you think the dog's going to eat it? Oh, good callback. <laughs> Me. You should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. Now out of the car. This is such a wild Just ride. Tell them, tell him that they want him on his side. Just tell him the stone's back at the office. I think that's how it is. This is seriously such a wild ride. And where's the stone? Come on, where is it? It's, it's over here. Where? I where? I left it in a box. Um, your dog, buddy. It's empty. I'm getting hyper. Tony, do something terrible. The, the dog. Oh. Dog must have had it. Well, then let's have a look, shall we? No. Kita probably doesn't f with dogs like that. <laughs> Pita is shaking in their boots at the scene. I guess if he goes to the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, thank God. That was giving me anxiety. Thank God for that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Ah! Fuck. And he's going to take it to... Uh-oh. Did you shoot Tony? Did he accidentally shoot him? <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? Anything to declare? Yeah. Don't go to England. What? The, the dog is gonna go back to the campsite, so I'm telling you, it always does. How's the dog gonna find the campsite? Then? Have you smelt the campsite, oh so? Oh my. There is so much mishap and unfortunate stuff happening in this movie. Are we gonna get a better show this time? Because we'll make up for it. Mickey's going down in the fourth. Now Terry over there's in charge of the bets. I think you're going down by the fourth. I'm really curious if the composer of this is the Oceans. I really got to look that up. 
Dude, this guy he's fighting looks insane. Any predictions or because I have no I idea. don't know. I have no idea either. I think everyone's gonna end up dying, maybe. Uh, I have no idea either. Except for maybe the two we started with. Turkish. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Think he'll take him to the fourth, maybe. Yeah, he's gotta play he's gotta play ball right now. To understand the consequences of what will happen if you knock that man out. Do not knock him out. Yeah, because he could knock him out if he wants to. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Damn, this is intense. Whoa. transition though yeah but imagine when you're that hung over it feels like you're drowning in water and uh, yeah. taking a beating all he's got to do is stay down oh no no what do you do what are you doing those brick tops got a dozen keen to kill monkeys with shotguns You ever crossed the road and looked the wrong way? Give me that f***ing shooter! Oh, they, they, the pikes, uh, they're on him. Watch. He just freeze and pull a stupid face. But the pike, he didn't. She had plans on running the car over. It had previously occurred to me that the gypsy had taken the demise of his mother rather lightly. Oh my god, yes! Every action is a reaction. Yeah. And a piker reaction. It's quite a f thing. Yes! Y'all messed with the wrong family. I love that! Get yeah. into the trailer park! Yeah, y'all messed with the wrong family. Sorry. Give me that shirt. Uh, I'll give me that shirt. Period. Yup, yup, yup. Just want to cut the park you have money. Yes, on yes. That's the reason the bastard never goes down when he's supposed to. That was so satisfying. So good. That was so satisfying. The next day we went to the campsite, but the gypsies had disappeared mm. during the night, which was probably a good thing. <sighs> Cops? What are you doing here? What's it got to do with you? Ah! What are you doing here? Oh! Is that... Send the dog for a walk. What's the problem? What's in the car? Seats in a steering wheel. Not a thing. Not a bing. Always playing silly games. Stop messing about something. Get in the car. Tommy. What a you can great still, full circle. You can still hear the squeak. Yeah. Well, you love a dog, do you, Tommy? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Tommy persuaded me to keep the dog. I eventually agreed. As long as he took it to a vet. And they're gonna find the diamond. The vet found half an undigested shoe. A squeaky toy and an 84 carat diamond lodged in its stomach. Poor baby. So what do you do? You go to see the man that knows about these sort of things. So what do you think? Oh, are they taking it to the guy who likes to pretend he's Jewish? Do you know anyone who would be interested? <laughs> yep, I had a feeling it was him. <laughs> I'm mine. <laughs> 
Stop. Stop. <laughs> That's great. This that, movie rocks. Yeah. Oh, that was great. That is the definition of connectivity. Right. <laughs> Doing it the right way. Right. I think we kind of saw that, and I can never remember how to pronounce the name of the other Guy Ritchie film. We saw Lock, Stock, Stock. and Two Barrel. I forgot. Yeah, thing. they were very similar, but different. Yeah, no, totally different. But I just mean the whole way of how they connect. Totally. Um, Genius. I, yeah. And it was a well-crafted film. I love all the characters and how they're all totally different, but they're all unique mm -hmm. and like they bring something different to the table but it's also again it's just a well-crafted story and it was just very unique and I just found myself so engulfed in the story <laughs> Right. But um, what did you think of the film? I loved it. I love, I, I think this movie is like, this. they cussed every second. So I'm going to say it's <laughs> awesome. It's fuck, It's so fun from start to finish. Yeah. It's so gruesome. Yeah. And it leaves you so surprised, but it's kind of worth it. Like mm. sometimes to me, like slasher is not my favorite type of genre because it just feels like you're killing and you're doing like all of this insane stuff just for you to be wowed and oh my gosh I can't believe they did that it really feels like everything here was kind of earned and had a reason from the beginning from the first shot from the first word spoken I said this movie has style yeah, it, it has it a does. style and it went with it and it was so fun from start to finish and then obviously you guys know my favorite thing about films in general is dialogue mm -hmm. and and this is great creme de la creme mm. of dialogue. Yeah, I'm ready. You the, the, the dialogue was really good. Just, Even uh, if you uh, don't uh, know what they're uh, saying. Yeah, you know what she means, man. Again, all the performances were great, especially Brad Pitt. Uh, it was very, very unique. Like you, one of my favorite performances, especially as a Jew from Brad Pitt, is uh, Inglorious Bastards right. for obvious reasons. I especially love this performance. Um, Brad Pitt's, I, I love, again, all the unique character traits. Right. Like, even like the, the, the jewelry guy who, he's not Jewish, but he pretends to be Jewish. <laughs> Just so funny. Little things like yeah. that. I'm like, I love these characters. And again, Benicio Del Toro, Frankie Four Fingers, he's in the movie like 10 minutes. And I loved him. It's like his character like really stood out to me. And again, he was only in the movie for about 10 minutes. Again, it was a very unique film. And I think you said it best, it was really fun, but it was a wild ride. It didn't, it kept its foot on the pedal and just did not did stop. Not stop. Did not allow you to breathe, but in a good way. This is what makes a great filmmaker is that there were scenes that you, they obviously, you hear the shots mm -hmm. or you hear someone dying and they don't show it or they fast forward and you know was, someone died. Yeah. And that was so... Like it shows like not everything was done just because they could. Yeah. Everything was done for a purpose. And what wasn't shown was even for a purpose. Yes. And the way they alluded to things, I was like, this is just a great movie. I'm a very big fan of nonlinear storytelling when it's done right. And this didn't even per se do nonlinear storytelling. It was like very subtly, very quickly done. Like when a lot of movies do nonlinear storytelling, it's like through years or months or like passage of time sort of thing. Like this was like 30 seconds to a minute ago, like type of thing. It was very, again, that's why I say the word unique. Like chocolate milk was just thrown out and like Boris was just hit by the car and like you ju had just alluded to where they had just fast forwarded and rewound. It was really a unique way of showing what had just cause and effect kind of thing. And I love that type of filmmaking. And again, when nonlinear storytelling is done right and the editing is done as well as it was here, it's just a very effective way of storytelling. And I love the way it was done here. And this was a wild and fun ride. Right. And this is definitely one of my favorite um, Brad Pitt performances for sure. And again, all hail to all the uh, performers here and Guy Ritchie. Uh, I haven't seen a ton of Guy Ritchie directed films. I've seen Sherlock Holmes, the first one. I did not see the second one. I've seen Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels on here with you and Nachara, and I've seen Now Snatch. Rock and Roll, I saw that years ago, which I, I did enjoy. He's a great director. I, I really? really, I really thought he did a hell of a job uh, with his direction in this film. Yeah. Just, he knew what he wanted, created, a, again, a very unique storyline. Again, I just, I really love how all the stories really intersected into one. It was just really, it was really interestingly a way of just cross paths pathing into all, into right. one. Right. No, yeah, I was thinking about that. It was kind of like they were threading a knot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. And very slowly being like, this is one string, this is another string. Yeah. If we loop these, we he have does. a string that's intertwining. And then they, at the end, they're like, Shh. yeah. They like just tie the knot and choke it out. And you're like, what the hell? I really loved um, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, too. I like this one better, I think. I um, was more attached to each individual character. Yeah, and I so hated fun. the villain too so much. Yeah. Again, great performance from that actor, but really hated that villain. And I was so satisfied when Brad Pitt and uh, the the gypsies, right? I, yeah, or the pikas. The pike, the pike, yeah, whatever Pikes. they were called. I was so satisfied when, and you called that uh, early on too, when that was going to happen. I was so satisfied when they got their revenge on him. And you knew yeah. that was going to have to happen, but right. I was so satisfied. I liked it how it was in a way I didn't call though at all. Yeah, the way it happened, the way it was it's executed, organized. It was like. Smart, yes. yeah. yeah. Because when we, again, you called, but when we were like, I'm like, predictions are like, I don't know how this is going to go down. But it was like, and the way it happened, was like, that is so satisfying. Yeah. So, That's so good. It was um, great. I, I hope you it. guys liked it or loved it as much as we did. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. I'm Steph Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Much love.